What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? June and July have been crazy months for conventions. It's taken us forever to get around to our pickups, but we want to show them off because we want to show all the fun stuff you can find at your conventions in hopes of encouraging you to get out to them. Even ones that are like gaming, there's so much other stuff yeah, to find. Yeah, you can find other things, not just games at gaming conventions. Exactly. And this is our haul from Midwest Fest 2024, partnering up with All the One Gaming. There was so much going on there. Please check out the floor tour video to see like everything that's happening. So many tournaments and esports among, you know, cool finds and everything. Yes. In fact, you know, they had some trivia there. Let's let's start off. I want a game. Look at this. Ginger, or Ninja Bread Man for the Wii. Election, election is now complete. Congratulations. It really is. Thank right. you. I believe he apologized when he handed this game to yes. me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he did. And I won the Eye of Judgment. And he also told me this plays like shit. So, okay. Fun thing <laughs> is, this was one of those uh, like AR games, oh. so augmented reality yeah. when they were trying that yeah. out. And he said this, and I hear, I, I did hear. Yeah. The cards are well, in there. I mean, there. it is still sealed, so. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Whatever happened to that PlayStation camera? Anyway, uh, aside from ours, it just spies on us because, you know, we're not using it. It is an unplayable Nice. The other more modern game that we picked up, this was solely for you. Golden Axe. So this is Beast Rider. This is on PS3. I don't feel like I ever hear anyone talk about it. Hopefully it'll at least be fun and everything. But why did you want a Golden Axe game? Because that was a game me and my dad used to play together when I was a kid. And it was one of the first games I could play as a female. And it was super cool. I didn't care that she was a sluttily dressed. <laughs> <laughs> I was a kid. I didn't know. I just thought she was wearing a bikini. Not beating around the bush with that one. Nope. Games like this and when they did the updated Spliner House game, I would love to see more of that. Not yeah. like a full-on remake, but like a new entry in that series, kind of taking some of those older elements and applying them to a new game. So fingers crossed on that one. Fingers crossed. Something that's going to be great when we do sit down to play some games is the amount of treats that we Love have treats. from Puffection here. This freeze-dried candy thing, he's got some fun stuff. We got these pineapple things that, OMG, is it like just squeezing pineapple juice into your mouth. It is the most flavorful pineapple thing I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> I won't keep don't, saying don't, put in my mouth. Don't tell them about the other pineapple thing. With, okay. Uh, <laughs> This was kind Who's of what. Not beating around the bush now. This is kind of what kicked us off. Uh, Brandon of All in One Gaming, he had a bag of the the reason pops. Yes, and he and, let us try it. Yeah, and that was a mistake because then we had to have yes. our own. It's like so diabetes though. The minute you put it in your mouth, it was like you can have one a week and you're good. Like you could not sit there and binge this whole bag. Oh, oh I could. Probably. Diabetes, 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 diabetes. Thank you, Wilford. The almond honey. Puffs or the Those Bitco were honey. really good. Really good. Yes. I like anything that's honey flavored. Yeah. And then we always enjoy the Skittles. Yes. This time we went I don't the like sour Skittles ones. like normal. There's something about the texture that's all wrong. But when you freeze dry them, it, the, I, can, I like the texture and they taste good. I don't know. Right there. You, we showed you some games, but there are treats. I will there say there was well. one that I kind of regret not trying. I was kind of hoping he'd have samples, but he didn't. He had like dill pickle thing that he had done. If we could have tried a sample, yeah. yes. I, I didn't know if I wanted to go for a full bag yeah. though. I managed to find a couple of manuals. I don't think I have my SimCity manual for Super Nintendo anymore, so I got that. I went ahead and grabbed this Mario Party 2 manual for Nintendo 64. I mean, I hey, like a good Mario Party. So. <laughs> you know, it's like if you can find a cheap manual, why not? I also grabbed The Legend of Zelda as re-released on Game Boy Advance. Give me, give me. At Lost Joystick, he had some of the fun Famicom disc cart inserts. And we went with this Esper Dream one because just whatever is happening on the cover here. It's, that witch is really gonna eat those kids, I think. Well, I don't know. This Still guy's something. like sending some acoustic waves at her or something. He's like, here's my guitar finger. I've seen this movie, it's called wham, Orgasmo. <laughs> You have a little naked satyr boy going on an adventure, oh. I guess, because he's got his sword. And this is great. Look at this 3D hot rally. Uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, anyone? 
you know... Yeah, that is Mario and Luigi on there. You guys all thought Nintendo was being so clever when they came out with Double Dash on the GameCube, but all they were doing was reusing ideas. Come on, Nintendo, are you serious? <laughs> it's Lost Joystick. Look, it's got Captain Algebra's rainbow. That's awesome, Tom. Love the nod to LJN. That's very cool. It's not apparently a convention now for me without picking up some kind of 3D printed oh something gosh. or other. Yeah, they had you so it's either remember. going to be a plushie or 3D printed. I picked up the cutest, tiniest little baby rainbow dragon, a little pastel rainbow. That is adorable. He's just so cute and he just kind of flies around. At the same booth, this really adorable platypus, duckbill platypus, and he's got magnets on him so he can stick the refrigerator or whatever, but he's my favorite color combo. That was what really drew me to him. I love blue and orange together. And I don't know, he was just cute. I don't, I've never seen someone do a duckbill platypus. You keep saying duckbill platypus versus like a birdbill platypus. Don't ask me why the scientists had to say <laughs> duckbill platypus. Apparently the British people make fun of us because we have to name things of where they go, like sunglasses, sidewalk. Yeah, they always make fun of us, so duckbill platypus. <laughs> well, we did come home with some great art too. We've talked to Spectral Void before, and I don't know, there was just something about this alien image. There's it's so much so detail cool. going on, and it's just black and white. Fun fact, I'd never even seen the alien films until you came along. I know what I'm doing. So it's not like I had nostalgia no, for this. Yeah. Speaking of not having nostalgia, I was never a big turtle <laughs> fan, but again... I know, ladies, there's something wrong with him, but it's okay. There's a lot wrong with me. <laughs> again, I could not resist this. How cool again, of a Again, there's is so this? much going on. And he actually gave us the option of in black and white or in color for both these prints. But there was something, I just liked the detail. You could see it better in, in the black and white ones. You want them signed, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You never know. <laughs> just make them out to eBay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, at Tremendicon, we got a Toriyama tribute piece. Well, yes. this time we went full on. That he's, is such a cool painting. He's flying away. And there's so many characters Look, representing his history my here. Favorite. There's Croto, so you got my favorite there. And we got a fun sticker at the same booth. And since you and I had just got done playing Metal Gear, my first experience with Metal Gear, I had to go for this. Snake! Are you there? Snake! <laughs> As will this Balma one. Now, he had her kind of upside down, so I guess that's probably what I'll do once uh, once I've got her on a magnet. Well, we can, so we can make her go whichever way she that's, wants. That's true. And I had to get this keychain. It is so cute. It's an old school retro TV with the stickers all over it. Because, you know, we used to do that. We used to stick the stickers all over it. And there's like a cobweb on the back of it. And it's got, you know, your ports on the back too. But what was so great about it is it there's a moving... DVD thing in there and I don't know you'll have to be our age to remember that DVD <laughs> bubble thing that would pop around your screensaver whenever you, your DVD was over. Well another fun keychain was from Deedle Ray. Love her work. Yes. We would got Spyro before and regretted not bringing home Crash as well. Well now they're gonna they'll both be able to play their switches together. Yes. And have a lot of fun. And this really drew my attention. It is so cute. It's another little you know like Boba Bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love blue, green skinned people. I don't know why. There's something about it, but she was just so cute. She's just this little fairy just hanging out there drinking her boba. Is it even boba? I think it's just a nice I drink. I don't care. It's it? boba. It's boba to you. Okay. They're round okay. balls, so that means it's boba. Okay. And if oh. then it's not boba, I'm really sorry I'm destroying your, your sticker, but I she think just it's loves boba. boba. <laughs> From Rexus Illustrations, we got a great collection of stickers. These, these are going to, like all of this stuff is going to make such great magnets. We're going to need more metal in the house. <laughs> we are. <laughs> but you've got this Kirby telling you to suck it, which is what he does best. You got the big, fat chocobo. Who doesn't love a fat chocobo? Come on. <laughs> these next two are totally for you. 100% me, yes. I absolutely love Koroks. Eevee is one of my favorite Pokemon, and Halloween is my favorite holiday so the fact that Evie is inside of a of a jack-o-lantern is just freaking adorable and link has been riling up the cuckoos again so he's running for his life because he never learned he really doesn't back at that uh joystick table lost joystick we love seeing all the famicom stuff yes because they're display. such pretty colors well you had to have this one just for the case yeah it's this like really pretty green 
And then there's a Mario embossed on the front of it, and it says Family Computer, which so you know this was not just a cassette tape holder. It's literally made for the Famicom games. But it was green, because so I wanted a green one. I didn't care what game was in there. I just wanted the green one. <laughs> the the cartridge is purple on the inside, so it's green and purple. I like it. It's Joker's game. But today. I'll do a little tap dance for you. <laughs> well, we also got a black one again with the embossed Mario and family computer. Yeah, I really love these as storage options for your Famicom games. You know, it's funny. And this game, he was demonstrating this one. This has like basically just a Konami all-star roster on it. And the game looks like it'll be a lot of fun to play. This is one of those Famicom carts that I went for just on the artwork alone. I don't know what's happening here, but it looks great. It's like classic RPG fair. You've got a little fairy girl throwing some dice. You've got a dwarf who's going to chop her hands off with an axe. There's a dragon. Speaking of dragons, there was another 3D booth that I spent a lot of time at because the lady that was creating them was also painting them. And she just would bring them to life with the way she painted things and it was just amazing. An example here is this really cool phoenix, which again, I've never seen a phoenix done. The way she painted the beak and the eyes, it's just so lifelike. Phoenix is one of my favorite mythical creatures, so that was just really cool to find a phoenix, which I've never seen before. They have these adorable little axolotl earrings that are just so like cute. the dragon earrings I've been collecting. But I've never seen axolotls, so I'm super excited to add those to the collection. And then this awesome dragon tower. You can either rest the die in his mouth when you're, you know, not doing anything, but then when you're ready to play, there you go. You got a cool dragon tower. My only regret, I wish I had bought it at the beginning of the day and then asked her to paint this for me and then pick it up at the end of the day. Yeah because I think she would have done an amazing job bringing it even more to life than it already is. I absolutely love this dragon tower. And there were so many other dragon towers I wanted to come home with. They even had like mini di dice towers. It was They're so cool. Yeah, cool I stuff. could have spent a lot of money at this booth. Tom, look at the owlbear. I love owlbear, he's so uh, cute. It's a, the, it's a dice box, the head comes on. Nice. His eyes are so like, Lifelike, like she hand paints them. She's like, actually wow. painting one. Right that would there. be why. Yeah, there's just so much life behind those eyes. I am not familiar at all with Gadget Twins or DJ Boy, but there was something about just looking at these games that drew me in, and I was like, I've got to check them out. Now, Gadget Twins looks like a pretty fun little side-scrolling shooter. DJ Boy looks like a, a weird beat em up where you're pretty much on roller skates the whole time. But that's what do you so play great. music? Maybe, maybe, maybe DJ's his name and he's not a DJ. But that's what's so great about <laughs> whenever we go to conventions because we're never really looking for anything in particular, it's whatever catches our eye and a couple of weird Genesis mm -hmm. games caught my eye. And finally I got kind of a, not so much a holy grail, but it is something that I wanted for a long time. It is a Wonder Swan. Now it's the original one, it's not the Wonder Swan color, so those Final Fantasy games I got in the past <laughs> aren't going to work with this, but he did toss in a game, so I had something to try out on it. But this was a, a fun Japanese only mm -hmm. handheld, I like the pearly cover on it. Yeah, yeah, we went sheen. with the pearl so design pretty. and it is gorgeous. We've been collecting these fun Famicom colored 
carts of classic games for the GBA, and this yes. one's Super Mario Brothers. Yep. But we have a couple of them. Sega had started us off on this. He got us a Zelda one, <laughs> and anytime we see these great little cards, we have yeah, to grab we them, pick them up. The gentleman that sold me these games, he had some VHS. He had some good he VHS did have some good too. VHS. And surprisingly, oh no, oh no. Did you find a bunch? There's also some, oh. but that's up to you. Even though there had to have been like thousands of these Friday the 13th VHS made, <laughs> I never see them we anytime don't. we go out to flea markets. I up paid for these a bit, but I was, I was tired of not having them in the collection. And it's like, we never see them. I see them now. Let's just get them. So yeah, we've got parts five, six, seven, and eight for what it's worth. <laughs> you know what comes to mind when you think of a video game convention? Uh, rocks? Crystals? Yeah, rocks with faces. Right? Of course. <laughs> At the same booth, also, his wife was doing rocks with faces. And some of them she would like etch like a little mouth or nose into them, and some she would just glue little eyes on them. And I don't know why, but, well, I mean, I do know why. I'm a sucker for rocks. I love rocks. <laughs> so I'm super excited to find rocks at a convention. I'm just going to get you <laughs> rocks for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Whew. Midwest Fest. What a blast. A lot of stuff. Spent a lot of money. I'm going to go eat a bunch of candy. Guys, leave some comments down below about what you think of duck-billed platypie. Is, is that the plural platypus? I don't know. Platypuses? Platypuses. You got to be careful trying to pluralize that one. YouTube will back you for that. Don't say it. Don't you say it. Don't you. Don't you say it. And then Evie is one of my favorite. He can. Not a piece of steel. Okay, ready? And um, the white of the. That, you know, you just kind of. 